clock. When it came time to update the plastic cover of this wall clock, we created the look of aged enamel using just spray paint and a little rub and buff. So it's a really smooth and durable finish. And we also used a lot of these tricks on this thrift shop basket. And we'll show you all these pretty tricks with love for a country house. We found this great metal basket in a thrift shop. And rather than use the usual one color of spray paint on it, we decided to use two complementary colors. And they were Key Lime and Seaside by Rust-Oleum. We alternated the colors and we made sure to put a few hot spots here and there. Look for different contours and details that you could highlight. Then a little yellow on the bottom of the baskets. See how I'm using the board underneath to control the spray? And can you also use baby wipes to blend? The results were a little loud, so we used this amazing translucent orange paint that we found. And it almost looks like rust in certain lights, but it's much cleaner, of course. And now this basket is so radiant in the garden. This is natural light. And the colors just seem to go with so many other shades. You could put a sealer over this, and since it started as a thrift shop basket, you know, it's really kind of ridiculously beautiful now. If you're looking for color inspiration, we'd say look at a lot of photos for ideas. Look for something that makes your heart glow. We used leftover paints, we used satins and mattes together, and remember, even white paint looks good with a hint of another color. And there are so many colors to choose from nowadays. There's a whole lot more than when we painted our bikes when we were kids. Now, about that clock, we asked my brother Marty, who happens to be a spray painting expert, what kind of tape to use to protect the glass. And he recommended 3M vinyl, which easily bends to fit curves. It worked so well, we went back to another project to fix our old masking tape on this wall, and it was much easier to make it curve. And here's how it looks in Marty's work on hot cars. Let's just say, it's a great tape. We cleaned the glass and then we fitted it around the edge. We cut some plastic to fit and we taped that to the first line of tape. Now we were ready to figure out what colors would look like antique enamel. And here's what we chose. For the rust effect, we found a textured paint by Rust-Oleum. And we tested everything on black plastic because inevitably the color of your project will influence how the finish looks. So here we gave the clock a few coats of pistachio. Yes, we painted right on our rainbow deck. More about that deck in another video. So next we used a board and gave the bottom edge a faded ocean mist color. And it already looks like natural fading. When dry, we hand painted a band of rub and buff gold around the frame, and this was so fussy. We would have liked to have used another row of tape before painting with gold spray paint, but our testing warned us not to do that. And Marty explained later that bonding adhesive is what keeps the second layers of masking from pulling off color. But anyway, we hit our messy gold line with fake rust and corrosion effects. And this was done by spraying the paint onto a palette, then dabbing it on with gloves. We used the texture paint, and we found that pure white really helped too, because it looks like worn enamel. We wanted to finish off our green with a touch of that translucent orange, but just a touch for fear it would look too much like nicotine. So we added just a whiff of it on the bottom edge. After masking with a little plastic wrap and touching the edge with a little bit of fake rust. And now for the reveal. And we pull off that great tape and look. The edging was perfect and the glass was so clean. And we just did a little bit of forest green around the top rim which somehow made the clock look less like plastic and stand out farther from the back edge of the wall. It looks great on the faux brick wall, which is also another video. Don't miss our next project. Click the Sun logo to subscribe. See you later.